Okay, so let's take a look at one of the common pitfalls uh, when it comes to buying a car. Let's look at value over time. So when you buy your car, uh, you're going to pay something for it, right? Uh, and typically you're gonna finance it uh, over, let's say, 60 months. And when you do that, you're gonna make payments every month and it's always gonna be the same amount. Uh, so what you owe is slowly going to decline until you get to 60. Uh, but that has nothing to do with the value of your car. Uh, as you know, probably, the moment that you drive your car off of the lot, its value goes down. Obviously, it's going to get to some point where there's still going to be a value on the car. Uh, you know, uh, throughout the course of time, your car isn't just going to be worth nothing. Uh, it's always going to have some value because it'll still run. Um, so, what you want to look at is where these numbers cross. Now, this uh, is the ideal time to trade or sell your car uh, because what you owe on it uh, is the same as what it's worth. Uh, so it's a wash. You know, you could sell it for the same amount, write a check back to your bank, uh, and everyone's happy. Uh, but in real life, uh, nobody can wait this long. Uh, let's say this is around, you know, 50 months or something like that. Uh, that's almost uh, four years, two months, uh, and most likely uh, you're going to be ready for a new car in like two or three years. Uh, you know, your car is kind of getting a little older, it's got some miles on it, maybe somebody dented it in the parking lot, uh, you know, your neighbor just bought a new car, um, or whatever the case may be, uh, you kind of get antsy. Uh, and we like to call that uh, the time of impulse. And that usually happens right around here somewhere. So maybe this is, you know, uh, two to three years, somewhere in that time range. Well, if you're in a purchase contract uh, and you're financing your car, uh, what's going to happen? You're going to come down to the dealership and you're going to say, hey, I'm ready to trade in my car because I saw that brand new shiny one and uh, it's, uh, it's about that time. Uh, and you're going to say, okay, well, what's my car worth? Well, your car is going to be worth this. Uh, and then, you know, you come down to the dealership, we're going to call the bank and they're going to say you owe this much on it, right? Uh, or maybe here and here. Uh, well, the problem, this is a problem that we call being upside down, uh, is that uh, we need you in this, po in this point to, to write a big fat check uh, to make this go away, you know, the difference between what you owe and what the car is worth. Uh, and then on top of that, we're gonna need another check uh, on the down payment of your next car. So this could potentially be, you know, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 dollars uh, depending on the make and model of the car and the, the values, you know, the trading conditions and all of those things. Um, so, uh, this is obviously a pretty tough pill uh, for most people to swallow uh, because it's, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars uh, straight out of your bank account. Um, so, uh, when you look at leasing a car, uh, the difference is uh, that right around this impulse area, right in this time frame uh, is generally when your lease is due and that's usually around maybe like 36 months or something like that. Uh, so at the end of 36 months what happens is you walk in the door uh, and you hand us your keys and you say hey I'm done with this car. Uh, basically you paid for all of the depreciation uh, to that point. Uh, you hand it over, you turn it in, uh, you go and pick out the next car that you want to have, uh, put down your down payment and then you drive away. Uh, with your shiny new car and you don't have this 15,000 uh, or more uh, dollar check uh, that's kind of looming overhead. So uh, basically the advantage here is that you get to refresh your car and upgrade uh, in a much shorter uh, cycle of time. Uh, so you don't have to wait until that you know 50 months or 60 months uh, before you uh, can feasibly trade or sell your car, uh, you can get out of your car much faster and into your new uh, next car.